Please help me welcome Brent. Thank you, Elizabeth. Wow, is this going to be a different presentation? Holy. So I'm sure many of you have been to Vancouver, probably to Stanley Park. Maybe you've ran or walked this the uh, seawall. It's about a 10 kilometer stretch, pretty impressive. And what if I told you that you could do that same distance 10 times over, never get off the same trail, and never have to travel anywhere to do so? It's called your North Saskatchewan River Valley. And that's exactly what the River Valley Alliance is doing. We're connecting 100 kilometers of trails from the far west of the U of A Botanical Gardens to the far east of Fort Saskatchewan. And when we're all done, it'll be the same as walking from Edmonton to Vegreville. Now that's impressive. Now many of you have said, I've been in the River Valley. Bet you haven't been here. This is our brand new section of trail that we just opened in the east end by Quarry Golf Course. I bet you haven't been to the Stairs of Fire in Devon or stopped at the top and had a donut at Frickin' Delight Donuts to refuel. <laughs> There's so much to see in this river valley and so much to discover and you've got lots of time to do it. So how do we get this beautiful river valley? Thanks to the 1915 flood that washed away all industry in the river valley. Limber, lumber mills, coal mines, brickyards, everything got washed away. This is a picture of a train, a coal train, holding the low level bridge in place so that the river didn't wash it away. Now unfortunately, because of that event, we got the most beautiful, pristine river valley in all of North America, actually. Come along, slide. <laughs> Did my slides freeze? There we go. So, unfortunately, because of that, of course, it cleaned everybody out and all the people that lived and worked in the river valley. And that's why we have this beautiful, pristine river valley, the nicest in all of North America. And we want to show it off. So hence, we've been working on projects like this funicular and the Frederick G. Todd Lookout that's one of the best lookouts in all of Edmonton, the iconic Twilliger footbridge that connects Twilliger Park to the Fort Edmonton footbridge. These are projects funded by the River Valley Alliance that brings people down to the River Valley, connects and makes accessible the River Valley no matter where you live in the Edmonton metropolitan region. Long slide. So, you're sitting there saying, hey, this is a great story, but who the heck is the River Valley Alliance and where's your church? Well, I'm glad you asked, because that's not who we are. We're the voice of seven municipalities whose borders all touch the North Saskatchewan River. One common goal, connecting a trail from Devon to Fort Saskatchewan. You get on one place and you can get off the other. Think of us as building trails, building pedestrian bridges, and building boat docks. That's what we're about, that's what we do. Oh. oh boy, come on slide. <laughs> so, why should we do this? We should do this because you want it. And your dog wants it. And your kids, grandkids want it. That's why we should do it. And guess who else wants it? Tourists. International tourists. Can you imagine the international tourism opportunities in the city, with recreational organizations, outfitters? Can you imagine what great uh, potential that has, absolutely limitless. We're not just building trails, we're connecting communities. We're bringing people down to the water. Mental health, physical health. We're connecting people to each other to share this river with health. And we're educating you that this is an amenity we should not be taking for granted. Now, here's a group that's not taking it for granted. Canadian Trail Magazine deemed Edmonton's River Valley the number one destination in Canada for trail running. So how about that? Whether you're running, juggling, cycling, segueing, it doesn't matter. Edmonton's River Valley is where you should be in Canada. But this is not just simply a summer playground. This is a four seasons amenity. In the winter, snowshoeing, cross country skiing, walking. In the summer, a resort for fishing, kayaking, stand up paddle boarding. And in the fall, this beautiful kaleidoscope of color for nature photography, painting, or whatever other great endeavors that you want to take. This is a place where you can recreate all year long. Now, with everything, there's always going to be some distractors and some fans. We're no different. There are people who say, don't touch a blade of grass anywhere in the entire River Valley, and there are those who want restaurants and wine bars the whole way. The point is, we're trying to find the right balance with minimal exposure, minimal impact to the, to the land, so that we can create the trail, create access to the River Valley with as minimal disturbance as we can. But we've got a problem. There's a black hole. There's a gap of about 30 kilometers 
from the West Anthony Hendy Bridge to Devon, where there's absolutely no trails at all. So we call this our black hole, and this is our priority and our focus for the next three years. Now, if you've ever been down to the West Anthony Bridge, you'll know that that's literally the end of the trail. There's some single tracks that go there that the mountain biking community uses, but from a standardized trails perspective, that's it, you're at a dead end, nowhere else to go. End of the trail. So that's what we're gonna focus on over the next couple of years to make sure we get those trails. Now, why this section? It's one of the most beautiful sections of the entire River Valley. This is Shalom Park. This is a world famous water ski park where they have international competitions. In this particular section as well, there's Big Island. Big Island used to be the picnic site for the Upper Crust Society of the 30s, where they would boat down, and uh, that's, where they, that's where they party. Now this particular section of trail is gonna be quite natural. It's gonna be granular, about three meters wide, and there's lots of ravines in this particular section, so we're gonna be building lots of staircases in and out of the river valley. So if you're a fitness boss, this is a section of trail that you're really gonna to wanna to be in as soon as we get it built. So now you're sitting there saying, so what can I do to help get this trail built? Well, I'll give you some tips. Walk your dog in the river valley and take a picture. Post it on Instagram. Tell the world that you're down enjoying this beautiful river valley here in Edmonton. Or here's another idea. Go to a different part of the river valley that you've never been to before, and now you're a regional tourist. Ask someone you love to go for a walk in the river valley. Better yet, organize a group of friends, and you can share the knowledge that you learned today. Right? So it's because we rely on government funding, everybody telling their story of being down in the river valley is going to help us complete the work we're trying to do. So get down there and enjoy the river valley. I believe Edmonton should be known not for a mall and not for a hockey arena. We should be known for our river valley because you can build a mall and a hockey arena anywhere, but you can't build a river valley. So the next time you have someone coming to Edmonton, make sure that Edmonton's river valley is on your destination of choice. It's the only way we're going to break this myth that we're this winter hinterland. So in closing, <laughs> let me say this. We're not building trails. We're connecting people to nature, we're connecting communities, and we're connecting people to each other. And what you want to do is use it, appreciate it, and tell the world that Edmonton's River Valley is where you want to be. Thank you very much.